Hello, BookTube. Um, this is the, the shelf tour of the fourth bookshelf, uh, bookcase, uh, the big wall bookcase. Um, the third shelf, and one, two, three, third part. It's a continuation of the archaeology books. Um, so once we work through that, we'll mo start moving into mythology. Um, we, on the previous tour, um, had a book by Rakita Hawks. We have another one here in another series called The History of Mankind, Volume 1, Prehistory and the Beginnings of Civilization by Rakita Hawks and Sir Leonard Woolley. Sir Leonard was quite a famous archaeologist. So, um, this is Harp and Row Publisher, uh, New York and Evanston. And um, let's see what we have for a date. So this was done uh, by UNESCO. This copyright's 1963. So uh, UNESCO volume. So you can, there's part of the commission that was responsible for this book. They're from countries all over the world. And it continues here. So, under the United Kingdom, it has uh, Sir Ernest Barker, Dr. Joseph Needham of China fame, and Bertrand Russell. So, pretty impressive. Has a forward by the de uh, Director General of UNESCO. Uh, and who was that? Rene Mihao. M-A-H-E-U, so I may be mispronouncing that, and it was written in Paris in 1962. Um, there's a preface by a scholar, notes on the editorial treatment of Volume 1. So this is a pretty official type of thing. But then we start getting into the archaeology. They do have a section of photographs. Uh, there were more in this series. I don't think I've ever seen them before. I would like to. Um, and if I did, I might pick them up. So, so. The next volume is uh, by Sir Max Mallow. This has been rebound. Um, Max Malawan, uh, Early Mesopotamia and Iran. It's from the Library of Early Civilizations. Uh, Tims and Hudson. And it was 1965, publication date. Used to see these things around quite a bit. Big old series of them. Oh, here's a good one. them when I would find them. Pretty neat book. I'm trying to figure out a different way to pile up these so I don't get the camera. Now again, another Brian M. Fagan. Floods, Famines, and Emperors. El Nino and the Fate of Civilizations. A little timeline here on the end papers. This is uh, Basic Books, 1999. Vine. So, uh, in 1997 and early 98, one of the most powerful El Ninos ever recorded disrupted weather patterns all over the world. Europe suffered through a record freeze as the American West was hit with massive floods and snowstorms. In the Western Pacific, meanwhile, some island nations literally went bone dry and had to have water flown in on transport planes. So, um, in this dazzling original new book, archaeologist Brian Fagan shows how short-term climate shifts have been a major and hitherto unrecognized force in history. 
El Nino driven droughts have brought on the collapse of dynasties in Egypt. El Nino monsoon failures have caused historic famines in India. And El Nino floods have destroyed whole civilizations in Peru. So, more Brian Fagan. I always recommend him. This is an old reprint. Fun to look through. Uh, Sir uh, J. Gardner Wilkinson. A popular account of the ancient Egyptians revised and abridged from his larger work by Sir John J. and by Sir J. Gardner Wilkinson uh, in two volumes, which are both here. Um, Bonanza Books, illustrated with woodcuts. So this, this Bonanza book um, was from 1988. The papers are already uh, going a little yellow, so it wasn't on very good paper. It shouldn't go that fast. And this next bruiser is in a rough shape, as you can see, but it's a seminal book in archaeology. So the environment in archaeology, an introduction to the Pleistocene, geography, uh, to Pleistocene geography, excuse me, by Carl W. Butzer. Aldine Publishing Company, Chicago, 1964. Like I say, for this was one of those standard books, if you're into archaeology, it's a groundbreaking work. And it's exactly what it says it is. It's, um, the environment and how it impacts your archaeological finds. And, uh, the next one's a beautiful book. It's um, The Oxford History of Ancient Egypt, edited by Ian Shaw. Look at that cover. That's it. Oxford University Press, and uh, this one is from 2000. There's a title of page. So if you're into Egypt, this is a ancient Egypt. This is a very nice volume. Beautifully illustrated. And moving right along, this was a standard for a long time. Ancient Europe, a survey by Stuart Pigeot. Uh, Chicago Aldine Publishing Company, uh, 1965. Another one of these Oxford books. This one is the Oxford Illustrated Prehistory of Europe, edited by Barry Cunliffe. Oxford University Press, Oxford, New York. And this one is 1994. Good survey. And that was it for these, this part of the archaeology. Um, when we get into the section of books I have on America, there will be a couple more archaeology books, and I believe one or two of them by Brian Fagan. So this shelf, because of the size of the shelf, this first, this last book is the first of the next section. And it's Phil Cosineau, 
um, Once in Future Myths, The Power of Ancient Stories in Modern Times. Um, I have an interest in mythology ever since I first saw Bill Moyer's interview, Joseph Campbell. So, The Forge by Stephen Larson um, is from the Canary Press in Berkeley, uh, Berkeley, California, excuse me, 2001. And those of you who've read a lot about um, Cosano knows that he had a, he was influenced by Joseph Campbell, and there's Joseph Campbell, the fellow right there. So, um, good book. I read it a few years ago, but it's sort of going to lead us into our mythology shelves. So, uh, thank you, BookTube.